Hey guys, it's Stuann and I hope they had a wonderful safe week. Before I get started with this vlog, I wanted to do a little update on our bedroom. We rearranged it a bit. If you didn't watch last week's vlog, it was a tour of Craig and my new apartment. And uh, yeah, it's so exciting. So we actually ended up moving our bed to this corner just to see how it feels. We've done it for the last couple nights. I loved waking up to seeing sunlight coming through the windows because um, before our bed was facing our dresser over here. We've currently only put up one curtain rod. <laughs> we ended up um, running to Ikea the day that we did that, pretty much right after we did one. Um, I'm actually thinking of only putting up one panel on this side and then the other panel on this side. Floor, standing mirror right there or possibly right here. So yeah, that's just our updated bedroom right now. Also on that note, we ordered a new rug and it's supposed to come, I think either today or tomorrow. Um, it actually is has reds in it. Um, it's somewhat Persian looking, which I'm really excited about because it'll add some warmth into the bedroom. And we still have to put up the two pictures. I'm not sure where I'm putting this mirror yet. Um, and if we're gonna put a shelf up there, we don't know yet just because we don't know if this is where we want the bed for sure. But I've just loved waking up every morning and just seeing sunlight. Yeah. I think, think, think. Hi. Are you ready? Yeah. Are we in focus? Are we in the frame? Are we in the frame or are we in focus? Duh. Let's get started into the meat of this vlog, which I'm very excited to share. So last week's video was about new beginnings and I wanted to continue that theme into this week's video because I feel like new beginnings are just something that we all need um, after experiencing this year. I posted it on a couple of my social media accounts. I wanted you guys to be a part of it and send in your new beginnings. Also just being a way to show positives that happened this year. But yeah, I'm just so excited to share them. The videos that came in are just so great. Also just this community that we've kind of all you know stop doing that you're gonna poke me in the eye <laughs> what you don't like my <laughs> no, hands your circle your circle motion i don't have a, what do you mean a circle motion all right this God. it's just so wonderful that we've kind of uh what's the word like please you are literally gonna poke me in the eye <laughs> community oh my God. that we've made there we okay. go there you go also just hearing your voice and seeing your face. It's just so lovely. We can just all listen and relate to each other. So yay! Before we get started, Craig, what is your new beginning of this year? I was told earlier that it's not allowed to be the apartment. I guess it's yeah, because... yours. <laughs> you claim that one? Okay. Well, yeah, earlier I was like, Craig, what was your new beginning for this year? And he's like, the apartment. And I was like, no. Okay, fine. I'll let you have it. You mm -hmm. pay for half the rent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't, I don't like the idea of um, work defining, you know, who you are or your personal success, you know, like I, I don't feel like you should, those two things should be tied, like work and personal success. But mine would have to be the, the two things that we did together to work towards, you know, like our goals of doing what we love to do for a living. Mm -hmm. The movie we produced finally getting distribution and mm -hmm. being available on multiple platforms and and producing and directing breaking ground mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. you know it's like the first two real projects that we've ever worked on uh, with a crew albeit mostly our friends but but still like but that's even more exciting that's when it's like the best way to create you know yeah with your friends yeah mm -hmm. i feel like mine just as a small one is that I've been meditating every evening. Like once I get into bed, I've been using um, Calm. Calm, the Calm app. There's like a really cool 10 minute meditation that is new daily, but there's also like, you can listen to a story. Like last night- we Oh, I fell asleep to, to that. Yeah, last, last night, night we listened to a story by Kate Winslet. There's like- Thomas the Tank Engine. Yeah. <laughs> And it's just so nice. So I, I feel like that's, I've been pretty good throughout the years with meditating, but I feel like I've been really good consistently putting it on every single evening. And 
also just in a new space and make it a habit has just been so lovely. So that's a small one besides like the big ones that Craig shared mm -hmm. um, that we're very lucky to be a part of. So without further ado, here are the ones that you guys have shared. I hope they enjoy it and come along. Hi, Duane. I'm Annabelle from Germany and I've reconnected with a friend that I've lost contact with almost seven years ago and he told me that I'm worth a loving and that's what I've started this year. I've started self-love and we've been together ever since May now and it's one of the best decisions I've made in a long time. So I love you and be safe. My name is Elena. I'm from Austria and I recently started reading poetry books. They are so therapeutic to me and really calm me down after a stressful day. And I personally like to read them before I go to bed because I think it's just a nice way to end my day. Hi, my name is Gabrielle and I'm from Sydney, Australia. Um, a new beginning that I had this year was also moving houses um, and that really allowed me to close an old chapter in my life and start a new one. I have dealt with so much change this year um, but this one has really like allowed me to truly grow as a person and you know spread my wings and become like the best version of myself so even though this change was hard it was something that i needed to go through so i love you guys hey i'm emma from france and this year i started uh, traveling by myself and also living abroad so i'm in spain since uh five months now my name is danielle i'm from los angeles california and my recent new beginning is graduating from university this past summer um, despite how strange and gloomy 2020 has been for a lot of us i try to remind myself to be proud of that huge milestone and feel incredibly grateful for all the love and support that my family and friends have given me throughout that crazy journey um, so to my fellow graduates and class of 2020 Congratulations. Um, I hope you all are staying safe and well and hopeful out there. Take care. Hi there, my name is Stephanie. I wanted to share with you a new skill that I picked up two weeks ago. It is cross stitching or embroidery. And I picked it up because I wanted to do something before bed that had nothing to do with tech. So like watching TV, being on your phone. And I've noticed that it brings a lot of calm and kind of cleans out my thoughts before bed. So I highly recommend it to anyone who's looking for a craft that is easy to learn. This is it. Hey Duane, so the next adventure in my life is that I'm going to offer placement in two months and I'm very scared about it and excited about it. I hope that I get to go on adventures like you do. So yeah, I love you, keep inspiring. Hi Duran, my name is Daniela. I am from Mexico and my new beginning is to apply myself more with my studies. I love you. My name is Julia and I live in Washington DC and my new beginning is moving to New York City in 2021. I've been thinking about it for a long time and I'm inspired to finally do it, so it's exciting. Hi, my name is Unji, I'm from New York City, and one of the new beginnings I've started is I began to produce my own music. I love music, and it really brings me great joy to do something that I love. It's my song and the keyboard. If you would like to check out more, you can go to my SoundCloud at Park, E-U-N-J-I-I. -I. Hi, I'm Josie, and I'm from Germany. I decided to start sewing this year, and I started with masks and... Last week, I sewed a pillow. Hey, Duane, it's Greta from Germany. I've been struggling a lot with school lately. I've never quite so much in my entire life. So I decided to take a step back and do what's best for me and my mental health and learn that grades don't define myself. So yeah, that's my new beginning. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jane. I'm from France and one of my new beginnings was that I start to take care of me and I'm so proud of this. My name is Jenny and I'm from Philippines. So my new beginning is that recently I just started to write 
everything that I am grateful for here in my notebook and that way I can reflect on it and then see the things that I am very grateful in my life. My name is Jinky and I'm from Philippines. Um, one of the best part that happens to my life this year, I consider it as a new beginning, is that I'm already her parent. <laughs> her name is Nana and she gave me inner peace. Hi Joanne, so this year I started to accept myself and then learn to love myself and also just spending more time with my family and Bonnie and my dog. Love you, bye. My name is Emilia, I'm from Chile. In August, I started writing every night. I could be about how my day was or goals that I would like to achieve it's fun for me. Hi, my name is Elena. I'm from Brazil, but I live in Argentina. And my new begins is to skate again. I feel very good and really fun. My name is Gloria. I am from Ecuador. And my new beginning is that I remodel my room because a new year is a new beginning. Hi, my name is Egan. I'm from Belfast in Northern Ireland. And my new beginning this year um, was to play Animal Crossing on the Nintendo Switch. and. It's been amazing. I'm Vivian and I'm from Germany and I'm so excited to be in this video. Thanks to Anne. My first new beginning was graduating from high school this summer and as my summer job in Italy got cancelled due to the pandemic, I started climbing which gave me the tremendous feeling of freedom despite these constricting times. I also got enrolled in university. Hi Duane, I'm Mernouche and I'm from Iran. Uh, this year I got a job for the first time and I actually got two jobs. I started working in a cafe and I also started working with a publishing company and I translated two books. Hi, my name is Tara and a few years ago I had messaged Duane asking if I should move to New York after my undergraduate degree. And in a video, I think she mentioned my comment and I think she said do it. And I ended up going out there for graduate school, but because of the pandemic and my master's program being put online, I ended up moving back to California, but I'm looking forward to finishing it this fall. So that's so exciting. Hey, Duane, I'm Nikita. I'm originally from New York, but over the last few months, I actually spent some time out in Idaho and Utah working remotely with a group of good friends and I feel really lucky that I was able to do that and I was hiking, camping, backpacking and it was just such a wonderful way to experience the outdoors and to appreciate the national parks that we have out here in the U.S. So I know that these are experiences that are going to last a lifetime for me and I'm definitely going to continue exploring the outdoors and and immersing myself in nature um, despite living in New York City but uh, I want to thank you for being a ray of sunshine during some some tough times thank you hey Dewey it's your cousin Jessica uh, usually I report to you from Florida but my new beginning this year oh, is that no! <laughs> is that <laughs> hold on baby is that me and my family moved to Italy and we live in the country and it's absolutely gorgeous right by the mountains in this little farmland and this little munchkin loves it we cannot wait for you to visit i feel very lucky and um, grateful to be a part of this wonderful community thank you so much for those of you who shared if you weren't able to send in a video um, definitely comment below your new beginning whether it's big or small i'd love to read them and um, yeah i hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful, safe, and lovely rest of your week. I love you, I love you, and I will see you next week.